Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash Entitled Parents. In today's episode, Entitled Woman snaps her hand in disabled veteran's face and asks if he's our asterisk tart for telling kid not to pet his service dog. My friend's parents broke into my house and killed my pet snake because he was the sign of the devil. My entitled parents plus grandma tried to lure me back with a lie. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Entitled woman snaps her hand in disabled veteran's face and asks if he's our asterisk tart for telling kid not to pet his service dog. I was not with him, my boyfriend is the vet in this, so keep in mind this is all second had through his experience as relayed to me. The incident occurred yesterday at the grocery store while my partner was shopping. This is actually a challenging task for him, he doesn't like all the aisles and people in stores, and he doesn't like that he feels distracted from paying attention to his surroundings by needing to concentrate on the list of items he needs. Because he is hard of hearing he also can't easily hear where people are and this is hard for him. Also, it's worth noting that he has extra trouble hearing high-pitched sounds, like kids' and women's voices. During the COVID lockdown he lost a lot of progress he had made with his anxiety, but he's working on getting back to where he was. He has a service dog now which has helped him immensely. Not just in public. He sleeps better now, and the dog will alert him when he is becoming anxious based on his behaviors and can calm him, really incredible. The dog has a vest, if you read it you'd see he has a patch that says PTSD service dog, do not distract and one that says hard of hearing handler. His dog is trained to guard him from people and alert him what side he's being approached from. This is not aggressive, the dog just uses its body to block him off and touches his legs while doing it so he knows someone is there. So he turns and saw this little kid looking up at him. He just told her the dog is working and she can't pet him, on the assumption that she had just asked him that. In response? The kid holds out her hand for the dog to sniff and she said, Mommy says I can if I say hello first, or something along those lines. The dog doesn't react much at all so the kid just starts hugging him. At this point my partner stepped abruptly away from her and told her she needs to stop and to go find her parent. Now, he couldn't tell if the kid was old enough to read, but he's not really mad at the kid, because a parent should be responsible for her in a store. And while I'm sure he was probably very stern with her since he's not very great with people, especially kids, even on a good day, he's also not someone who yells. Yet lo and behold the child's grandmother, mother? Who knows, appears and is telling him not to yell at a little girl, he made her cry, and a bunch of other crap. He was only catching about 30% of what she was saying. He told her he has a service dog. She needs to keep the kid off. Read the vest. The lady rolled her eyes at him and continued berating him. He said he was just standing there largely ignoring her, thinking if she says what she wants then she'll go and leave him alone, but then, this woman snaps her hand in my partner's face and asks him R. You. A R asterisk tard. Thankfully there was a couple shopping who must have overheard. The woman from this couple came and moved that woman out of my partner's face and looked like she was chewing her out until the Karen left the aisle. The man from that couple asked my partner if he was alright, he turned out to be a veteran too, bonded a little over their tattoos. I'm honestly still livid about it and I wasn't even there. He's moved on. Some people are just not fit to be in public. And I don't mean your BF. Before my kids could read, I taught them what the vests meant, no touching, pooch is on duty working. I'm sorry he had that encounter. Maybe, just maybe, that woman learned something. Doubtful, but we can have a little hope. Thank you for raising them right. I doubt this woman learned a thing though. I love dogs and I know not to bother service dogs. And I will teach this to my son when he is here. Some people beggar belief. I'm sorry he had to go through that. Thank you. Most people do know not to pet service dogs, occasionally someone tries to talk to the dog or make faces at him because they don't understand that's similar to distracting them with petting. 
but it's not very often and my boyfriend hasn't had very many issues. Sometimes kids are dumb, but usually their parents will handle it. I'm so sorry this happened to your boyfriend. But also, I'm glad he didn't let that bother him. I understand why you feel so helpless over this, but he handled it pretty well. By the way, how are you? I know having a partner with mental health issues can be a little drowning too and you want to protect the people you love so bad, I have ADHD and PTSD, I know it's hard to love me. This woman seems to think people are the illegal or word she shouldn't be using, but clearly she herself is dumber than a rock. Thank goodness the couple stepped in to help. Sorry he was attacked slash harassed. The store should have called the police on this woman. It's not just about reading the vest either, if someone says not to touch their dog, then don't touch the dog. Granted a reactive dog shouldn't be in a place like a store, but on a walk? It's usually fine to ask, but if they say no then don't touch. If this Karen acts the same way while out on a walk, I almost guarantee she is, then in a similar situation, the kid could have easily have gotten bit. It would have been Karen's fault entirely. First and foremost, I'm so glad your partner is okay. I'm also very sorry this happened to him. Secondly, what kind of parent doesn't parent their kid sticking their hand in a strange dog's face? If, heavens forbid, the service dog reacted poorly to having a tiny human shove their hand in its face while it's working, she sounds like the exact kind of person who would start a GoFundMe and make a loud stink to get the dog put down. My friend's parents broke into my house and killed my pet snake because he was the sign of the devil. I'm a 23F currently, this happened about two years ago. I had a three-year-old fancy corn snake named Popcorn. I invited my friend over, she likes snakes, but her parents were overly Christian and claimed that snakes were the sign of the devil so she had to pretend that she hated them. So anyway, she came over. We talked, fed the snake, played video games, and then she left. When she got home, she must have told her parents that I had a snake. So about a week later they had snuck in through the living room window, where I kept my snake, opened his enclosure's lid, and grabbed him. The next morning I went downstairs to say good morning to Popcorn. I noticed he was gone but I wasn't too worried because, well, he was probably hiding. I watched too for a bit, then my friend was frantically knocking on my door. I opened it and she looked extremely sad and worried. She told me that her parents had killed Popcorn. I didn't believe her so I checked his entire enclosure, and sure enough, he was gone. I called the cops and she was fortunately arrested for breaking and entering. Though I still feel like she deserved more. I got a new snake, but he isn't the same. These people deserve to be in prison. What about cruelty against animals charge? It's a felony? I honestly don't know, I was told she was in jail for 10 years. This is so horrible, I'm so sorry for your loss. Rip popcorn. What consequences are your friend's parents facing? Are they going to jail? They can't be that Christian if they're ignoring one of the Ten Commandments, Thou shalt not steal. Structured religion is true evil and it proves that every minute of every day. F asterisk king cultists are pathetic, uneducated, and totally wackadoodles. Not all religious people are like this though. I'm pretty sure that normal religious people would agree that breaking into someone's home, stealing their pet and killing the poor animal is horrible. If your friend ever visits the prison and wants to really wind up her parents, tell her to ask them to explain the rot of Asclepius. My entitled parents plus grandma tried to lure me back with a lie. Welcome to the newest edition of Bull I get to experience after finally escaping my father on January 1st, I posted in different subs regarding different issues on this. To summarize what's going on, on January 1st of this year, my dad had a bipolar meltdown and kicked everyone out. After doing so, he realized he was going to die alone and desperately tried to pull everyone back, but my older sibling, 22, and me, 20F, remain free. I'm NC with my dad, my older sibling is LC. So when I first moved out, I had tried to get on my own health insurance through my job, 
but they wouldn't let me since I was still on my father's health insurance. He refused to remove me, since he was convinced that I would come crawling back. A few weeks ago, I had a pretty nasty accident. I passed out in the bathroom for unknown reasons and wound up concussing myself. I had to go to the hospital, where my mom told me I no longer had health insurance and that I was removed about a month ago. I was panicked, but the sort of panic where you're so panicked you're calm. I've been mostly chilling since the hospital said they'd help set me up with some insurance and they're actually doing good working with me. However, I just got told something interesting by my little sister, 17F, who was still unfortunately stuck in that house, they lied. She overheard my grandma coming up with this grand plan to make me come back, how I would beg them for help and they would so graciously reveal they never removed me at all like some kind of act to make them look like loving saints. I don't even know. But yeah, she told them I wouldn't dare to bite the hand that feed me after that, but now I know I have insurance and my sister sent me a pic of the health insurance card. Edit, I just discovered my dad has a reddit, and he's just as much as an a-shole on here as in real life. I won't drop it for now, but I'm gonna start being hella vague in future posts. To be the fly on the wall in that house when they realized they failed. Your sister is the true saint here. Get better soon. Your sister is the champ here. Stay no contact with parents and grandmom and pay back the favor one day when little sister flees that house and needs help being out on her own. If this doesn't kill any trust going forward. I'm glad you got out OP, hopefully your sister won't be too far behind you. Your dad may remove you, but he won't be able to until open enrollment, that occurs in a few months, but it won't go into effect until January 1, 2024. There is something truly wrong with people who try to defeat their children. It's sad, on every level and it foments sadness for everyone involved. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.